We're in our final herd of the $5,000 novice today at the Chinchilla SQ CHA Cutting Show. Good luck to Lincoln Barat. Thanks very much there, Lincoln. That was Lincoln Varad from Perga, Queensland. Number 37 on the draw. That was Tyrrell Park, Kit Kat Booney. Owned by Beck Eddy. That one by Kit Kat Sugar out of a smart little booney. One forty-four and a half for that marking there for Lincoln Brad with Tyrrell Park Kit Kat Booney. So we'll now move to Steve Smith and then we'll have Lincoln Brad and Jamie Seckham. Also tomorrow night we're going to have the SQCHA 2021's awards dinner and also AGM. So we're going to have 6 to 7 p.m. The committee has sponsored happy hour. You get nibbles and one free drink and the bar will be open. So that sounds pretty good there, guys. Then tickets available for the 7 p.m. onwards till late with the barbecue for dinner and bar will be open. Steak, sausage or rissoles with salad on plate, a hamburger, a steak burger with hot chips. Tickets will be available from noon today. As we get set for Steve Smith next to go, the gun to windy man himself next to cross the showtime line. So welcome back to our viewers at home that are watching it in their living room. Hope you're enjoying the action. Here on our Friday morning here, Chinchilla. Steve Smith's going to be showing his great mare, the one they call Azaray, owned by Steve Smith Cutting Horses. This one side by Jill Smart Ray out of Azacat was bred by Steve Smith. A great mare that's been a major part of Steve Smith's career. The great mare that also just last year had twins from the embryos had came out twins out of this mare so it's a great mare it is and it's been a great breeder as well for Steve Smith out of Steve Smith cutting horses out of Gundawindi wish him all the best here today as a ray
Start sweating before they open the gate. Feels like I'm about to lose my mind, cause eight seconds is an awful long time. Show them what you made of, show them what you've got inside. Got inside. What are you afraid of? This ain't no time to run. Thanks very much, Sir Smithy. That was Steve Smith from Gun to Windy. That was As a Ray, owned by Steve Smith. Side by Jewel Smart Ray, out of an As a Cat. Hundred and forty two there for Steve, one forty two as we'll now move to Lincoln Brath and we have Jamie Seckham then Steve Smith. That'll be our next three in the order of the draw. Also, thank you very much to Equivet Breeding Centre, 142 Gymnast Springs Road, Southbrook, Queensland. All the staff at the Equine Veterinary Services are personally involved in the horse industry and have a special understanding of the client's needs. Check out their website at www.equivetbreedingcenter.com.au. We get set for Lincoln Virat. Next to show here today, the man from Perga. This is the one they call EB's Dig This Cat, owned by Paul Johnson and Di Jones. I know they're very proud of this one. Just recently got runner-up in the Open Derby at the Autumn Spectacular. There's been a Autumn Spectacular Open Futurity Champion back in 2021. Was the runner-up Open Futurity Champion at the Darling Downs Cutting Club Futurity Show in 2020. This is the one we're watching right now. Oh, 
explosion when they set him loose and that mountain of muscle thundered out of the chute the ground was shaking and the crowd erupts he was riding on a bull that was bred to buck bred to buck bred to buck They're riding on a bull that was bred to buck that bull could twist he opens him up a cowboy on a bull that was Thanks very much there, Lincoln. That was Lincoln Barad right there showing today from Perga, Queensland. That was EB's Dig This Cat, owned by Paul Johnston and Di Jones. Hands out of your pockets. We're going to new lead 150, ladies and gentlemen. 150, 150. Nice job there, Lincoln. 150, our new leader here today in our $5,000 novice. So we'll now move to Jamie Seckham, who's going to be next to go. And then we'll have uh, Steve Smith and Jackson Gray. That'll be our next three to compete here today. Jamie Seckham from Albini, number 40 on the draw. This is Ray's Blue Boon, owned by the Cutting Edge Quarter Horses. This one side by Once in a Blue Boon out of a Hooray Little Dreamer was bred by Greg Jolliffe. Owned by the Cutting Edge Quarter Horse is the one about to cross the showtime line here today. Aiming for 150 and above now with the change up of the leaderboard. This is Jamie Seckham, Ray's Blue Boon.
Thank you very much there, Jamie. That was a Jamie Seckham right there showing Ray's Blue Boon. That was side by Once in a Blue Boon out of a Ray Little Dreamer. Work, work, 133 for that showing there for Jamie Seckham. 133. So we'll now move to Steve Smith. Then we have Jackson Gray, then Danny Ticknell. That'll be our next three to show today. So thank you very much to Nutrient Ag Solutions, Mark Pasco, at 8486 Warrigo Highway, Chinchilla, for supporting our event here this weekend. Our business, livestock, the wool, water, digital ag, insurance, finance, and real estate. Check out Nutrient Ag Solutions. So we get set for Steve Smith from Gun to Windy, number 41 on the draw. This is the one they call Wonderland, owned by Craig and Laurie Jones out of Kingaroy. Wonderland is where we're looking at. This one side by Smooth as a Cat out of a Miss Haveaway was bred by Craig and Laurie Jones at Kingaroy. So next one to cross the show timeline, aiming for 150 for equal the lead and 150 above to take the lead by itself. But let's watch Steve Smith, Wonderland, owned by Craig and Laurie Jones. Thanks very much there, Steve-O. That was Steve Smith from Gun to Windy. That was Wonderland, owned by Craig and Laurie Jones. That one side by Smooth as a Cat, out of a Miss Haveaway. On, 1.39 there for Steve. 1.39 on that showing. Our next three in the order of the draw will be Jackson Gray, Danny Ticknell and Peter Ryan. Also, thank you very much to our hay supplied and delivered by Tony and Rachel Pascoe and their two sons, long-standing graziers and farmers. Been here you know, for 130 years here in the Chinchilla District. So we get set for Jackson Gray from Perga, Queensland. Number 42 on the draw, Fularis, owned by Emma Stockdale. This one side by EB's Fularist out of a J Bark Peptos, Little Darlin, was bred by Emma Stockdale. So next one to go. 
at some great results last October at the Darling Downs Cutting Club for Charity Show. We made a couple of finals, ended up in top five in a couple of the classics and derbies. This is Jackson Gray about to go. Fularis, owned by Emma Stockdale. Also remember our SQCHA presentation night tomorrow night. Also the AGM as well. We've got the dinner as well from the also we've got happy hour from 6 to 7 p.m. You'll have nibbles and also one free drink. The bar will be open. So that'll be it tomorrow evening from 6 to 7 p.m. The happy hour for we'll have our dinner as well. But that'll be the happy hour after we've had our conclusion of events tomorrow on day number two. Of the Chinchilla SQCHA cutting show for 2022. And all eyes glued on Jackson Gray about to cross the showtime line. Fularis owned by Emma Stockdale. Also, thank you very much to Gil Parrott for helping set up the arena as well with Terry Elliott. Also running the backyards as well. Gil Parrott helped out at the Gunder Windy show as well last year. Always, always enjoying being out and about and helping events. So without these great people who donate their time to help out the Western sporting world, we would not have Western sports. So thank you very much to all our volunteers. Well, let's watch Jackson Gray, Fularis, owned by Emma Stockdale. Thanks very much, Sir Jackson. That was Jackson Gray from Perga. That was Fularis, owned by Emma Stockdale. That one by EB's Fularis out of a J Bark Pepto's Little Darling. She's got a with a scoop on the hood. 139 there for Jackson. 139. Move to Danny Ticknell is going to be next to go. So 
The one for the rose is the one he's going to be showing right here. So one for the rose, the one now next one to cross the show timeline. This one side by no more, one more. Out of a roses by choice was bred by Jackie Graham at a Durai, New South Wales. Now owned by Tom Strawn. Had a great weekend there last weekend at the Troom Cutting Show. Got the big number one and first and second in one of the events in the 15,000, I believe, on the Saturday morning at the Troom Cutting Show. This is Danny Ticknell, one for the Rose, owned by Tom Strawn. Thanks very much there, Danny. That was Danny Ticknell from Roma. That was one for the Rose, owned by Tom Strawn. That one side by No More, One More, out of a Rose's by choice. One forty-three and a half for that marking there for Danny Ticknell for his showing right there for two and a half minutes. We've got four more to go in our $5,000 novice here today. We have Peter Ryan, then Jamie Seckham, Tyler Hodgman, then Steve Smith. So thank you very much to Letterbuck Pro Services, professional sports commentary, pro audio sound equipment, music with music directing. Contact for a free quote today. But let's watch Peter Ryan, one smooth prince, the man from Roma. One Smooth Prince, side by one time royalty out of an MK Smooth Chick, was bred by Peter Ryan and Ian and Lisa Hindmarsh. Won this event last weekend at the Troom Cutting Show on the Friday afternoon. Was 148 and a half, I believe, to win that event that day. And a new shiny buckle to his name. This is the one right here, One Smooth Prince. Peter Ryan owns this one and also is showing this one, Peter Ryan. Next across the Showtime line today.
in the dark like he never would in the day Then he gets in trouble just as soon as he gets away Drinking dog whiskey Telling white lies One leads to another On a Saturday night Don't you cross your heart Thanks very much there, Pete. That was Peter Ryan showing one smooth prince, the Roma competitor. That one that we got to see right there, one smooth prince, was side by one-time royalty out of an MK smooth chick. One forty-one, one hundred and forty-one for that showing there for Peter Ryan. Also, the top six can please be on standby for presentations after this herd. That'd be greatly appreciated. As we got three more to go in this herd before we'll crown a champion: Jamie Second, then Tyler Hodgman, then Steve Smith. Also, the North Star Classic will be held from the 21st to the 24th of April. Make sure you've got your entries in. Also, pre-works will be happening as well at the North Star Classic. So the next SQCHA cutting show will be held from the 29th of April to the 1st of May at Bassett Park at Roma, so get your entries in. So we get set for Jamie Seckham next to go right now. Man that makes his home at Albini, number 45 on the draw. This is Metallic Little Dreamer, owned by Rachel Proceder out of the Gold Coast. This one side by Metallic Cat out of a Dreamer's Little Ray was bred by Rachel Proceder. I know she's pretty proud of this one. Just recently was the reserve champion, open futurity champion horse down there at the Autumn Spectacular, just there in March, about two, three weeks ago now. It's this metallic little dreamer about to cross the show timeline. And Jamie Seckham. Then we'll have Tyler Hodgman and Steve Smith. Also, the Darling Downs Cutting Club weekend show will be held from the 11th to the 15th of May at the Dolby Equestrian Centre. Lock those dates in as well and get your entries in. Also, the Burham Down SQCHA event cutting show will be held from the 22nd to the 24th of July at Burham Down. So those dates coming up for the SQCHA. So we've got Roma at the end of the month and Burham Down in July. So all eyes glued on Jamie Seckham next to show one for two and a half minutes. Metallic Little Dreamer owned by Rachel Proceder. So thank you very much to all our viewers at home that are watching it in their living room. Also to keep up the SQCAJ, check out their website at sqcaj.com for results, events and standings or their social media page on Facebook as well. Also, if you'd like to get involved as a business... 
to supporting the SQCHA. It's a great event to be able to advertise your business throughout Queensland with live streaming platforms as well as also the live platforms. You just contact the SQCHA as well. And all eyes glued on Jamie Seckham, metallic little dreamer about to cross the show timeline. Also, Casey Saddlery's here this weekend. Make sure you go over and see Kenny Cullen and see Calf as well. They've got saddles, work and show pads, reins, bits, spur and spur straps, splint and skid boots, girths and head stalls, plus much, much more. Also, for our viewers at home, if you'd like to order their products online, get onto their website at www.caseysaddlery.com.au. Let's watch Jamie Seckham, Metallic Little Dreamer, owned by Rachel Presida. Thanks very much, said Jamie. That was Jamie Second from Albini. That was Metallic Little Dreamer, owned by Rachel Presida. That one side by Metallic Cat, out of a dreamer's little ray. One forty-five there for Jamie. One hundred forty-five. So right now, fifth and six is one forty-five and a half. So we'll be around there and above, be ready for presentations. So we've got two more to show right now, Tyler Hodgman, and then we'll have Steve Smith to wind things down. In our 5,000 novice here today, Friday session, here at the Chinchilla SQCHA Cutting Show for 2022. So EB's turf is the one we're looking at right now. Great to see you, Tyler, make the way up from Glen Innes here to be join us here at Chinchilla this weekend. Number 46 on the draw, this one owned by Hodgman and McGregor. And Tyler Hodgman will be our shower today on this one. Our second last competitor in our 5,000 novice, EB's Turf. 
that great EB's Phalaris bloodline. Been a great sire and great breeder of some of the great stars that we're seeing in the cutting industry at the moment. Part of the Hodgman bloodline down there at Glen Innes. This is EB's turf we're about to see, owned by Hodgman and McGregor. Aiming for 145 and a half and above to be in the top six to get a piece of the pie in our 5,000 novice here today. So our next event on the pro program will be our beginner event. That'll be our next event to watch. Also, the Nebo Cutting Show will be held from the 5th to the 7th of August, and also the Injun Cutting Show will be the 12th to the 14th of August as well. And the St. George Ballon River, Cutter for, River Cutters Futurity Show will be held from the 27th of August to the 4th of September. But let's watch Tyler Hodgman. This is EB's Turf. was Tyler Hodgman with EB's Turf, owned by Hodgman and McGregor. Will be a zero there for that marking right there for Tyler Hodgman. We'll move to our last competitor in the $5,000 novice. The only competitor can take the honours away from Lincoln Brat with that big 150 will be Steve Smith, our last competitor show from Gundawindi, number 47 on the draw. This is Slate Rio Pecos, owned by Kevy Wilson out of Colleyville. This one side by Slate River Freckle out of a Bobby's Bow Peep was bred by Kevin and, and Edna Wilson at Colleyville. Next one across the show timeline. So we wish you all the best there, Steve O. Trying to get in that top six payouts.
I can't get ahead no matter how hard I try. I'm getting really good at barely getting by. Got everything I own by the sweat of my brow. From my four wheel drive to my cowboy boots, I owe it all to my blue collar roots. Feel like I'm working overtime on a runaway train. I got to bust loose from this ball and chain. I'm a hard, hard working man. I got it all on the line for a piece of the promised land. Friday night, I like to party hard. I carry on with the Cadillac cutie, spend my whole week's pay on some weekend beauty. Come Monday morning, I'm the first to arrive. I ain't nothing but business, y'all, from nine to five. I'm a hard, hard working man. I got it all on the line for a piece of the promised land. Thanks very much there, Steve-O. That was Steve Smith. That was Slate Rio Pecos, owned by Kevin Wilson. That was our final show horse there. That one side by Slate River Freckle out of a Bobby's Bow Peep. Hundred and thirty one there for Steve O. One thirty one. Well that winds down the five thousand novice. So give him a round of applause for all those competitors in our five thousand novice today. Well, unofficially it will be that. 150 of Lincoln Bra with EB's Dig This Cat. Then we got 148 and a half, Phil Smith dancing in Memphis. 148 with Steve Smith with with Phil Smith with Fierce One. They've also got the 148 Lincoln Bra with Blue Blooded Boone as well in there. And then we'll go back to 146 with Phil Connian with New Sensation, then 145 and a half. There's two of them for equal six, which will be Danny Ticknell with Suave, and 145 and a half with Matty Barber with Smart Little Sugar. But we'll double check on those scores once I head down there and see our judges, and we'll be having presentations very soon. So changing out the herd, and if the herd settling team can be ready for our next event on the program which will be our beginner horse so the Matty Barber team to be ready to settle that next herd please.
So if I can have these competitors back in the arena do our presentation of our sashes. Lincoln Verratt, uh, Phil Smith, 148 and a half. Also third and fourth, Phil Smith with 148. Also Lincoln Verratt. Also Phil Conigan with the 146 and equal sixth, 145 and a half. So Maddie Barber and also Danny Ticknell, please. Just going to do the presentation down there, Ray, or in the arena. Whatever works there, guys, if you want to do it in the arena. Phil Smith there as well. If Phil's around, please. If anyone can get a hold of Phil. Well, first place today will go to Lincoln Bright with 150. EB's Dig This Cat, owned by Paul Johnston and Di Jones. Congratulations. Our reserve champion will be Phil Smith with 148 and a half with Dancing in Memphis, owned by the Garrison Quarter Horse Stud. So reserve champion isn't here there with Simsy. So our equal third and fourth, we had Phil Smith also with Fierce One with the 148 and Lincoln Verratt with 148 with Blue Blooded Boone owned by Trina Simpson. Then we'll go to fifth position with the 146, Phil Conningan with New Sensation owned by Phil Conningan.
We'll now move to our equal sixth position today. We had Matty Barber with 145 and a half, half with Smart Little Sugar owned by Matty Barber and also Danny Ticknell with 145 and a half with Suave owned by Tom Strawn. So congratulations to those top six, our first crown champions of the weekend. Here in our $5,000 novice here at the Chinchilla SQCHA cutting show. So just get a quick photo of our winners here today. A great champion today with 150 Lincoln Brat with EB's Dig This Cat. Round of applause for those winners here this morning. They're cutting fans for our $5,000 novice. We'll now be settling our next herd of the day, which will be for our beginner event today, ladies and gentlemen. So if the Matty Barber team can be on standby, that'll be greatly appreciated. To settle that next herd of the day, we've got Matty Barber, Steve Smith, Emily Gurko, and Leon Ma, then Matty Barber, then Darian Alloway, then Nathan Morgan, then Steve Smith will be our competitors in our fifth herd of the day. So time to stretch your legs, go and grab yourself some early lunch or a cold drink or check out KC Saddlery and we'll be back very soon.
since I met you, girl, you've been on my brain. I can't think of nothing else but you all night and day. It's like I got a first class seat up on Ozzy's train. It's driving me insane. Five one five oh, somebody call the pull pull. I'm going crazy. Think about you, baby. Five one five oh, just a side of logo. I'm going crazy. Think I love you, baby. Your number, girl. I gotta call you up. I gotta get you right in shotgun in my truck. This little bit of you I got, it ain't good enough. Yeah, you got me all messed up. Five one five oh, somebody call the popo. I'm going crazy. Think about you, baby. Five one five oh, just a side of Somebody call the Popo. Hmm. Think I'm losing my mind, girl. Five one five oh, just a side of loco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five one five oh, somebody call the Popo. I'm going crazy. Think about you, baby. Five one five oh, spinning my head like a yo yo. I'm going crazy.
Pawn Shop, bling bling, raising hell just because.